Hey, what's up guys? Um, I just uh, thought I'd share my project. I'm uh, presently gonna uh, try and get some grass to grow out here. As all of you probably know, California suffered a uh, very severe drought the last few years and it took a toll on everybody's lawns. And so uh, this lawn out in the backyard here it just really was devastated, especially when I, I the shed back here, we had all the lumber uh, stacked up out here. So. I'm going to, uh, I'm working up the ground in the bare spots and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna plant some grass seed and, uh, and see how this experiment goes. Uh, so this, this video is probably gonna be like a month in the making and I'll just show the prog progress as I go and, uh, and we'll kind of go in stages and shoot video of the grass as it grows. Uh, as you can see over here, I've been working up the ground and I'm doing it with a shovel, I'm not using a rotor tiller. So it's quite a workout. And uh, so right now I've been working up the ground and uh, I'm gonna get some seed planted here. I've got all my stuff over here. Got, uh, as you can see right, right there, I've got uh, grass seed and some uh, lawn uh, soil uh, topper to put over the top of the seed when I get the seed uh, planted. I got two different types of seeds there and I'm gonna see if I can't get some grass grown in this yard. So we had strict water restrictions here uh, during the summer uh, for the last few years and you couldn't hardly water your lawns. And uh, also uh, I had three trees die on my property uh, because of the drought and I've got to cut them down. So I want to be that's another project I'm gonna to have to do is cut down three dead trees that died during the drought because you can't water Anything around here, uh, but now we've gotten plenty of rain all the reservoirs are overflowing and we're even having some float flooding along the rivers and So it's it's great that uh, that we got water now. Hopefully they'll lift some of the restrictions and we can water some more and keep our grass green so we're trying to continue on here and like i said this video is probably going to take me a month or so and and before i i post it because i'm just going to kind of shoot my progress and uh, shoot video of the lawn as it grows so uh anyway that's my project i thought i'd share it with you guys and uh, i'm going to continue on Okay, uh, I've got the part that I'm going to uh, work up. The shovel worked up. This is this was just all just dirt and mud. Uh, the other parts of the grass uh, has Bermuda uh, still in it that will grow uh, once uh, summer hits. Uh, but I'm going to overseed the entire lawn. So this is an experiment, and uh, hopefully it'll work. And so now I'm going to start raking this thing and getting it all smoothed out and uh, we can get ready to plant the seed. And uh, like I said, I'm going to overseed the, this entire area. Okay, I got my uh, my ground worked up here and uh, got it all raked and as level as I could get it. And so I'm gonna spread my seed. I have to do it by hand, and I'm really gonna seed the crud out of this this area here, and then over here in this area where the grass still grows, I'm gonna just overseed it. You got two different uh, different kinds of grass seed. Uh, One's a sun and shade, and the other one is to is supposed to do real well in the shade. And this yard um, is shaded uh, most of the day, especially when these 
these trees up there uh, get their leaves on them there's not hardly any any sun that gets to this yard very much so i'm gonna go ahead and hand spread this uh this seed and then i'm gonna put the topper soil uh that i have right here on top of that and start watering it and see if we can't get grass grown in this area so i'm going to spread that seed out in this spot right here and uh we'll see how this experiment goes I got this other little bag here and uh, I'm going to use that and uh, and then we're going to start uh, put that uh, topper soil on and then uh, we're going to start watering this thing and we'll see what happens. So anyway, this is my experiment, and we're going to see if it uh, if it works. So I've got the uh, the uh, topsoil on uh, that's made to germinate grass seed, and that's uh, to help it retain moisture. So I'm going to set up a sprinkler and start watering this thing, and we're going to see what it does. So um, probably won't post this video until after the grass starts growing, and uh, I can show you the grass growing, and then uh, I'll edit this video. And Put it up on my YouTube channel. So, uh, we'll until then, we'll uh, see you later. Okay, it's been about a week now, and uh, as you can see over here, we have some grass growing, and uh, so it's uh, coming up. And you can see even in the uh, and uh, probably a couple more weeks that it's going to be pretty full and ready to mow, and. Uh, it just takes uh, a lot of water after uh, after you seed like I did and uh, I've been watering it about twice a day and just making sure that it's wet so um, water a little bit more when it's sunny and then when it's cloudy like it is today then it uh, doesn't require as much water so anyway I'm gonna put a little bit more water on it and uh, and so we'll take a look at it in a few more days and May we be able to complete this video. Hey, uh, we've got grass. It's been about four weeks and uh, as you can see, it's all nice and green in that uh, area that had been dirt uh, for like three years now, so got some nice green grass and it's uh hasn't been mowed and uh so this will be the first time that i mow it and uh and we'll see how it looks after it's mowed i'm probably it and uh start mowing it uh, i got some people playing football next door yeah so anyway um and uh yeah part of the reason i put that temporary fence up is so like keeping our dogs from getting out there and trampling it and stuff 
and uh, seemed to do the trick <clears throat> keeping them out of there. And uh, so anyway, I'm gonna take this fence down and uh, I'm gonna get my mower and my weed eater out and uh, this will be the first time that it's been mowed in uh, four weeks. So let's get to it. I forgot to put my good mic on. Does this sound better? I bet it does. But anyway, I'm going to start weed eating and then uh, I'm going to start mowing this lawn. Okay, this video is four weeks in the making, and uh, it's been four weeks since I rototilled this. Well, well, I didn't rototill it, I turned it over with a shovel. Uh, but anyway, you can see, you can see how, uh, how thick it is. Um, I'm pretty pleased with the results. Um, it definitely looks a lot better than just dirt but I am going to put this fence back up over here because I'm not comfortable with letting the dogs just trample all over it just yet. So anyway, that's been my project. As you can see, the dogs are really enjoying it. And I overseeded this part of the lawn over here where they've been at. It hasn't done as well because of their traffic, the dog's traffic, but uh, anyway, uh, I hope you and uh, enjoyed this video and and uh, kind of a vlog of me planting the lawn and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>